All right. Uh, welcome, everybody. Got Oliver okay. here. Check out his YouTube channel. Link in the description. Ooh. <laughs> um, and today we have a reaction to something I've never really reacted to. It's, uh, without giving too much away, it's an kind of engineering, it's kind of history. It's really cool, and you'll probably have to watch it a couple million times to really understand it. Because <laughs> I sure don't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, everybody. Uh, let's check out this cool video. Guest reactor today, Oliver Bailey. Hey guys, what's up? Here now. Let's see what we got. So I know a tiny bit of history. Let me let it finish here. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So the little bit of history, I know about that mechanism a little bit. There was a diver who, um, they said a little bit of this, but a diver who found it in a shipwreck in 1901, a real one of these uh, mechanisms um, that was built about 2,000 years ago, something like that. And they just x-rayed it in 2006 and figured out all the inner workings and the gears and everything. And now these folks have recreated it with Legos of all things. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, I mean, well, the Legos are really impressive, but the idea that people could make a machine like that 2,000 years ago to yeah. keep... I mean, keeping track of eclipses and the month and time and seasons and like, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, I, I saw or read, I kind of forget, but I heard that at some point that they think there could be a couple of these that were made in the ancient world, but this is, they've only found one, at least that I know of. Um, it's possible that the blueprints for how to build it were um, destroyed in the library of, um, of Alexandria when it was burnt down. So I'm not sure we'll ever know, but perhaps another one will come up in another shipwreck at some point. Pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you like that sort of content. <laughs> 